Welcome to our first London vlog in a while. So you can spend Sunday with us today. We're starting off right next to Tower Bridge, just walking down the river. And it is a nice sunny day, although it's still cold. Yeah, it's I've got cold. my jelly baby here, all wrapped up. And yeah, so we're next to Tower Bridge. We have the Navy ship there. It was actually around a year and a half ago, or maybe a bit more, that we toured an apartment in one of these called oh, yeah. Sugar Key. Do you remember? Should we put it on the screen? Put it on the screen. It's 5.2 million. It had the view that we're looking at now. Yeah, show them Tower Bridge. So this is the view that it had. A lot of iconic landmarks around here. And then of course, Tower Bridge in the background, which we just drove over, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That was fun. Which was nice. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to explore. What do you want to do first? Maybe go to a cafe? Yeah, I'm kind of hungry. Let's keep walking that way. garden now and go to the nomad for some brunch i've not been there before so it'll be first impressions how are you enjoying london matt it's a bit cold but scenery is interesting interesting <laughs> it's kind of like going back in time when you've not been in england for a while because everything yeah. is older you actually forget that it's quite old if that makes Ooh, sense Ooh, oh wow they're brave <laughs> I've got the heating on and my coat <laughs> and a hot seat. We're just outside Big Ben and that's the Houses of Parliament. So for anybody who hasn't seen Big Ben before, there you go, seen it here first on the vlog. It is pretty incredible in real life, isn't it? Isn't it? Like the detailing on that building. Yeah, tell us more. Yeah, so Any it's history got gold it? touches. And it's recently been... Any marble? It's had a big repair recently. Yeah, it had scaffolding for a long time. We've also filmed a luxury property. I think it might be in this building on the corner. That's the Canadian Embassy. Oh, Oceanic House. Yeah, Oceanic, this House. Oceanic House. This, how, this um, apartment building here is where they used to sell... Like the people that worked for the Titanic yeah, worked. You can go check out that tour. Should we drive past it? We're drive, driving that way anyway. Oceanic House. How much was it? Was it 16.25 million? Yeah, it was a very expensive apartment. But this is what your surrounding neighbourhood would be. Here we are. So we're in Covent Garden and we're going to the restaurant that's in this building. And it's called Nomad. It's a hotel. It's a hotel, yes. You're right, Summer. And look. Oh, what? The telephone boxes. Iconic. And then look across the road, look at this building. Bow Street building, what's that? Oh, it's the Royal Opera House. The Royal Opera House, okay. Magistrates Court in there. Yeah, I know, you see that, right? The Opera House. Do you remember when we went to the Sydney Opera House and watched Phantom of the Opera? And our favorite part was the orchestra. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, nice entrance. Looks lovely. My colleagues are not sure if it's over Thank you. Thank you. So you'll see throughout it has a very interesting iconic style in here. Look at this. Nice in here, doesn't it? Yeah. And very comfy seating area. Thank you. We've got the truffle sandwich. It looks good. Delicious. With like a gravy sauce. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. 
Yeah, that was nice. That was delicious. Lovely interior. It was nice, yeah. It's definitely a premium restaurant. Definitely premium. It, it was, was 64 pounds, pounds for two chicken sandwiches. It tasted good, but that's, yeah. like, that's like... Just giving you the heads up if you want to go. Yeah. So you know the prices. Quick look in All Saints. Matt likes to have less clothes, but better quality, which I also like too. And you wear them more than once. <laughs> oh, let's show you everybody the new jewelry I bought you for Valentine's Day. So I got him this and this rope one too from Crafted, Lon Crafted London. Craft. Good jewelry for a good price. And Yes. Very nice. Thank you very much. You're very cute. Any ladies wanting to get the man something? That was a good recommendation. Yeah. It's great jewellery. Like you don't need anything too fancy. Too <laughs> Your expensive. cheap jewellery from ASOS ages ago would go green, wouldn't yeah. it? And this you would get the Hulk neck. Because it doesn't go green. Because <laughs> I like to wear it in the shower, in the water, in the ocean. Wherever. What did you used to call your neck? Was it Hulk, Hulk neck? Hulk neck. That's the real thing. Your neck went green. Yeah. I had jewellery like that too. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. We've just, Matt's just spotted something. Should we go and have a look? We were on our way to a cookie store called Cream. I've seen it on TikTok. Buns from home. Oh, pastries. Chocolate hazelnut. It's busy, isn't it? Not for you. That's bougie. I hate, I don't like them though. Uh, look fancy. Oh, actually, Lotus. Uh, <gasps> cheesecake. Lotus cheesecake. We're so excited for the cheesecake factory in Dubai. Yes. Now we're around ten minutes away from Cream, the cookie store. So we're in Soho now. On the way to get the cookies, we're about. Three minutes away. This is what Soho looks like if anybody's not if anyone's not been here before. God, Stussy. What are they waiting for? Oh wow, look at this restaurant. Whoa, this looks cool. Elan. Okay. Oh my eyes are <laughs> Oh wow! Wow, this is like a super Instagram cafe. Oh, queue. there's a queue. There's a queue. That's a completely different shop, babe. It's here. Oh no. Is it closed? No, it's open. It doesn't look very busy. It's a bit worrying. Should we go in and have a look? I mean, we walked all the way here. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. Have a good day. Secured the goods. That's where we nearly started queuing up for, thinking that was the cookie shop. Imagine if we queued in there. Yeah, no cookie, please. Uh, no, we don't sell any cookies here. As well. Thanks. Hmm. Oh, this is cool. Where are we, Simma? Oh, oh, what? Can we sit down here? Cheers. Just sit on one of those uh, little seats. Yeah. Change seat again. It's a very interesting place, isn't it, this? So we've ordered a coffee to go. I didn't tell them that, no. But now they know. Secret's out. But we're also getting a drink as well, because, I'll tell you why. I was looking around at the coffees that they do in the menu, yeah. and what I really like is I've ordered a cafe mocha, but you can choose what chocolate you want in it. Ooh. Because most of the time the chocolate's too sweet, but you can have, for example, Nutella, um, white chocolate, milk chocolate, I had dark chocolate, yeah, because that's how I like them. So let's see what that's going to be like. All right, what does everyone think of my cup? <laughs> I'll just walk around London with this. Oh, what? Your cute pink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it. What's the place called? It's called E L N N. But I haven't e tried it yet, so it might not be good. <laughs> I'll let you know. Or I might forget. First impressions on the vlog. 
Matt's a coffee connoisseur now. Cho chocolate's good. Coffee could be a bit stronger. But the dark okay. chocolate is nice. It's good. I recommend it. Oh, that was a little coffee. I hope you're alright. <laughs> Jesus. Summer doesn't really like coffee, but every time I have one, she always says, Can I try it? Can I try it? I might like it. I want to hope that I like it, so I want to try this one. What do you think? <laughs> mm, I like the chocolate bit at the start. No, I'm actually really impressed. This one's really good. That's definitely less coffee-ish. Yeah. More chocolate. We found another cookie place called Blondie's Kitchen. Oh yeah, Blondie's Kitchen. Back we in Covent Garden. No, this is Trafalgar Square, isn't it? No, it's... By the Opera House, anyway. Yeah, should we try that, Matt? Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, let's try one of them. Thank you. This is also the St. Pan Pancreas, yeah. is it? We went into an apartment, I think it was in one of these like turrets, um, and we'll put it on the screen now, it was crazy inside, and wasn't it owned by somebody from the parliament? Somebody in parliament, I can't remember the name, we had to Google him, but he- 12 million pounds. He was friends with like Boris Johnson. We were just driving past and this house is known to be the thinnest house in London. At its narrowest point, it's 1.8 meters. It's in Thurlow Square. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'll show you it from the front. It's so interesting, it's isn't it? Cool, isn't it? Look how thin it is. Isn't it 1.8 meters? Yeah. Uh, did you say that? <laughs> so from the front it literally just looks like a normal house I think it's art studios or it used to be art studios how cool is that thought we'd quickly show you while we're walking past nice street isn't it yeah, nice area. so we've got okay. a flat tire <laughs> we've got a nail in the tire so we've come to probably the most expensive quick fit in London Bentley there loads of Rolls Royce not Sloan Square in Chelsea. Tire is fixed. Yes. Woo! Um, so that is pretty much the end of the day. We're going to wrap the vlog up here. We hope you enjoyed coming to London with us. We felt kind of like just tourists in London for a day. Ah! Oh! oh my god! <laughs> that made me jump. Sorry. It's a good day, wasn't Matt it? Matt put his foot down on the on the car. Yeah, it was a good day. Yeah. Nice that we had the sunshine. I don't think it's been blue skies like this in London for a while. No, somebody messaged me saying.